Ah, that is my frame assembly jig. Safe build stuff. Before we get to that though, let me give you an update on where the frame is. All of the parts have gone through at least two, some of them three or four iterations to get the tube sizing, various geometry correct. And now I am at the point to where I can say this is basically the final version of the parts, save for some cosmetic changes. Pretty happy with how that is looking. So the assembly frame, the assembly jig, pretty much any picture online or video you see of someone building a bike frame, steel frame, whatever, they're gonna have some sort of alignment jig to ensure that the tubes and lugs are all in the right plane, things are parallel, even, square, etc. So I needed to develop something like that. There are commercially available assembly jigs on the market. Undoubtedly, those are well out of price range for this project. Features of my assembly rig here, uh, two 45 by 90 millimeter aluminum extrusion rails, structural framing. This is good stuff. You can build anything with it. Thanks to the great Larry Russo for donating these. So I'm kind of proud of myself for this thing. I pretty much conceived, designed, and constructed the whole thing in just a couple of days, including printing all of these big parts here. The two main rails, this is, oh, <laughs> it's quite heavy and quite a bit overbuilt. Uh, I did not need such heavy duty rails, but you know, if what you get is for free, we'll make it work. The two main rails are held in place with these square blocks here. These blocks hold the rails parallel and even. I wish I didn't make it so heavy. We have these two 3D printed blocks and a carbon tube. This will locate the bottom bracket. Down here at the back end, we have a rear dropout holder. Assuming that my assembly jig is square and straight, parallel, this should locate the bottom bracket axle and the rear axle to be parallel and in line with each other. That's probably gonna be pretty important. Then the vertical arm has a seat post holder. So that should help hold the seat post and the my 3D printed seat tube, uh, top tube, rear seat stay, uh, junction part. This will locate that relative to everything else on the frame. So my next step is to disassemble the bike frame and I'm gonna assemble it on the jig and I'm just gonna tack glue it in place with some hot glue. And the purpose for that is uh, twofold. One, the main purpose is to ensure that the jig works properly to align the component. And the second purpose is to have it be kind of like a dress rehearsal for the final gluing uh, procedure. The epoxy that I'll be using has a limited pot life as all epoxies do. So I'll need to have a procedure down ahead of time of rehearse so I'll know step by step what I'm gonna do, when I'm gonna do it, and where it's gonna go.
that like locks right in. So hopefully it locks right in in the right place. Okay, now, theoretically it's been 24 hours, my frame is cured, take it off of the jig. I think that's rigid enough for this round of testing. I need to mount the rear brake caliper. Kind of a moment of truth here. Wheel on, oh, look at that. That looks to be pretty well aligned. Well, maybe, yeah, not so much down here. Back, this is not good, this is not very secure. I think my hot glue joint on the dropouts here is not perfect. Okay, so this hot glue joint is failing me. <laughs> there we go. Yes, sir. That step is a success. I think that tells me what I needed to know. Clearance for the wheel looks good. The tire looks good. I'm able to align the brake caliper, the brake pads on the caliper. So, yeah, I think my assembly jig is good enough. Getting excited. Super duper cool.